Okay, so I want to give you a little update. So I did a video on this um, about four months ago when we first introduced this Sentinel Tower to you guys. It's been a great success so far. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Really unusual in Wales. The sun doesn't normally come out, but I'll lead on to that in a minute. So this Sentinel Tower behind me that you have seen the full video for, which again, please go check it out. It's on our YouTube channel. It's had a bit of a modification for those keen eyed people here. We now have two solar panels attached to this unit. Why have we done that? Great question. This gives us a very long run time. This has been deployed now for almost 12 weeks with the solar panels attached, self autonomously with the 4G router in there. So you can just about see on my finger is that 4G, it's a Teltonica router, basically 4G router on top with the four cameras, charging the batteries that are inside the unit. You saw the video previously where it's just battery operated we got sort of five to seven days runtime depending on usage and application and obviously uh, you have to charge it you know quite often this is very different so two very efficient solar panels um linked into the solar charge controller which is inside which i'll show you in a minute um facing south so this is facing south so we get the maximum yep it's sun everybody again don't really get a lot of that round here but this will give us maximum efficiency on those two solar panels so they're at sort of a 45 degree angle to really capture that um sun we can we can i suppose adjust the bracketry to really capitalize on that but about 45 degree angle two very efficient technology uh, very efficient solar panels technology has got very very good in, in, in what we can output on these now and again they will continually trickle charge those batteries inside i've been connecting to this via the 4g router for like i said for the 12 weeks now and it is on the button the good thing with the solar th it's free so if you're looking for a really eco-effective long-term solution or especially over the summer this could be it for you um we've got it ready to go if you want it make an inquiry to dvs uh, one of your sales staff or just give us a tinkle comment and we can give you uh, or make an introduction or we can give you the you know, sort of the build list etc um the great thing with this is these do pack up so if i show you now these two panels here you can see sort of yep i'm here so you can see here they're sort of on a frame so it's on a galvanized frame so you can take the two panels off this galvanized frame um, linked in then to the solar cables, which go into that conduit or plastic conduit and then in underneath there, and then they go through the side there. So you can see there through the side or they come up with this uh, glanded hole through the copex and then through this mechanism here, this galvanized um, tray really does hold this very, very firm. And you can see all you need to do then is unbolt these the panels come off so they're easy to transport disconnect that cable in inside here and then move um you know this is a sort of collapsing bracket effectively so if you look at the top here you can see where this bolts round so it's a galvanized collar which bolts around that mast which really does keep not only the mast rigid but the solar panels rigid you can see now the stability there's a nice big spider down there this the like well you could bloody up sorry you can see the stability that gives it is absolutely unreal so we've got the galvanized um footprint effectively two solar panels connected into here and then bolted onto here so if you ever wanted a secure mechanism or secure deployment this is it this is not going anywhere you can bolt that foot to the floor it has got two holes in it which allows you to bolt that further to the floor so if this is a very long-term deployment you could effectively do that the one thing i would say in the uk uh, is very indicative of the uk especially um sorry guys i'm just gonna move my finger um especially during like sort of winter months the solar output will be very very low and therefore you may not get a great run time out of this system spring summer leading into autumn then absolutely i think you're going to get a good long-term well that is sort of a six-month deployment out of this past that you are probably gonna to have to start charging the batteries or using maybe um you know a generator in the day to charge the batteries up once a week uh, or a methanol fuel cell deployment etc so there are options you can add into this 
but I'm very, very pleased to say, you know, as the test bed here at DVS, this is working super, super well. And the one thing you do have to be cautious of, one, obviously the panels can be damaged. So if you're deploying this in a construction site, you may want to mask it off and like we put like cones here to stop people parking against it because they will, you know what humans are like. But you may want to ring fence that off to stop anyone or you know, a forklift or something reversing into it and smashing those panels. That could be a costly mistake. But again, because it is very, very rigid, the chances of that being blown over or pushed over by vandals is extremely low because you have to put some considerable force into destroying that. The great thing with this, again, like I've said before, if I twist you around, these four cameras here, so they've got the live guard deterrent. So when somebody comes in the area they shouldn't be in, that's going to warn them off. And it'll also send a push notification to the app, etc. depending on how you've rigged it up, of course. Again, live guard functionality is definitely the key moving forward. So you want to really, really get that to flash and sound in the intruder's face to warn them one they're there and two obviously deter them from doing anything further and disperse them from that activity you'd normally have that on a schedule so generally in the night so it allows you to work around that area in the day you know without it shouting at you continually which will obviously also prolong the battery life but again at that height you get that good facial uh, detail so it's coming at me just above head height it's about 2.5 meters high so at that height there you get a really good look straight on you know, the issue with a taller tower is one, obviously stability can be easily toppled. Center of gravity is much higher. Um, or much lower, depending on how you look at it, I guess. Uh, but also, obviously you're looking down on top of people, so it's difficult to get the detail. So this is just one way of really enhancing that facial feature, what the person is wearing, etc. So to give that finer detail to you. And again, the door is accessible on the side. So if I open this up now, so it's got the special key. And again, we can put special locks on it if you want a special lock. Oh God, I bloody dropped it. If you want a special lock, we can do that. It's also got uh, included rigid feet on three sides. And then if we open it up, look. So again, you guys have already seen in this now. So you've got two batteries in here. So two gel batteries in here, which will charge from that solar array. We've got the uh, router here, uh, which the aerial is on top of the mast to give it maximum capacity. A 12 volt uh, switch, which connects all of the cameras together with the router. And then we've got the isolation. So solar isolator. So we can isolate the solar panels if we need to work on it. We've got the blue smart charger, so the um, the Victron Energy. If you know anything about this kind of setup, the Victron stuff is the premium end of the market. So Victron Energy Charger and Smart Solar Charge Controller. So we've got the two Victron units here. Again, a very, very high end. So everything is individually fused here. And we've also got the Victron Cerbero, if you can just see that here. So there's, if you want, and it is an optional extra, it allows us to do, um, fleet management effectively so we can actually deploy these towers and from a central portal each tower would have a servo unit in there from a central portal it allows us to see the efficiency so the battery charge the efficiency of the solar etc make sure they're online um, and again there is a way to even add gps tracking on there so you can see where the cam where the towers are you know should you feel that's a, a real necessity there is a charge for it but again speak to us and we can give you an update on that but it's a very very powerful tool especially for those that are renting them out or doing mass deployment for central management in a single portal definitely go for that option but again very very professionally made so i'll just move out the way move my fat body out the way uh, so two batteries all nicely dressed in all premium equipment in there so again and a, a totally lockable waterproof enclosure so everything like i say it's lovely and dry in there no water ingress at all and again any color so you know the cost includes any british ral color on there so you can really choose to highlight it we can do graphics on there you know the, the, the options are limitless it's really down to what your application is we have to be very mindful of power draw which is why we are very uh, conscious of using the um accusense with lifeguard potentially 
the thermal cameras uh, on the non-solar deployment, even though there is a thermal on there. The thermal draws a lot more power than a standard camera, so obviously it may potentially reduce the runtime. Other than that, if you want any more detail on this absolutely superb piece of engineering, please do come and speak to DVS Rap. This is made by one of the best tower companies in the UK, all on site, especially for DVS as a distribution product. You know who they are. If I told you the name, you'd be on board with this straight away because they are a premium, premium design, premium company at a very affordable cost point. So again, if you want to know any more details, drop us a line. I hope you enjoyed the video. I was super excited about run testing this and getting it online, um, giving it that uh, field test, which we've now done. It's been, like I said, 12 weeks now. Uh, I'm going to show you the app quickly just to show that it is online for the 4G router. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to open up Hike Connect now. So I'm on 4G, as you can see. And you can see we've got the Sentinel mast already loaded. It's actually connecting to Wi-Fi. So what I'll do is drop that Wi-Fi off and go back. So we're completely on 4G now because it's not fair to do that. Like I said, 4G router in the mast. I've already saved it as a favourite. And that will load up the Sentinel mast. And you can see here, that's a 4 megapixel colour view. And as I walk in front of it... Hello. And like I was saying, as, as you walk up to it, you get that nice head height. Apologies for the sound. You get more detail at that height, which gives you the ability to identify and then obviously prosecute should the need be necessary. And again, we've got different cameras. They can be positioned wherever, thermal camera there. And just on cue, somebody's walking past. So you can see, you know, if that was a perimeter breach, uh, the great thing with thermal is it can see in any light level and almost any weather condition. And again, another camera, that's the comparison video. So we got thermal versus day night. So obviously primit protection for this unit is absolutely key. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do get in touch. We're super excited to get more of these out. We're already starting to shift these now and um, I'm really excited to see where these will go. Stay safe and we'll see you next week for another how-to video.